this is Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your ClickFunnels account to Zapier in order to connect with almost a thousand other applications. If we look at the app directory from Zapier, you'll see that you can connect with Gmail, Trello, MailChimp, Typeform, all of these different applications. So they have almost, almost a thousand here as of the recording of this video that you can integrate with. So in my ClickFunnels account, you'll notice if I go to integrations and I click add new integration, when I select Zapier, it gives me a list of potential uh, zaps that I can create. For example, send Gmail messages when new contacts are added to ClickFunnels, post a new ClickFunnels contact to a Slack channel. So these are pre-made zaps that you can use simply by clicking on them. Uh, for example, add new orders to a Google Sheet. Uh, so you can use those to automatically create your zaps inside Zapier. Now, if you don't want to use any of these pre-made zaps, uh, what you can do is just go into your Zapier account and click make a zap. And then for your app, you're going to type in ClickFunnels right here in the search. And then you're going to select a trigger. Uh, the new contact activity will trigger when a new contact is created and the new purchase will trigger when a purchase is made. So I'm going to go ahead and select new contact activity, then save and continue. And then you can select the ClickFunnels account that you want to integrate with or connect an account, which is what I'm going to do. And since I'm already logged in to my ClickFunnels account and I've already authorized it, it automatically connected it. So I'm going to rename this here for myself. Now, if I hadn't already connected previously, I would see a window that would request authorization to connect to my ClickFunnels account. So you would authorize that and then it would show up here. I'll click save and continue. And then you can set up your options. You can select which funnel you want to connect to. And if you have a lot of funnels, it might take a while for it to pull up all your funnels. And if you scroll through your list of funnels, you may not see all the funnels that you want. And so one thing that you can do is click on use a custom value. So if you select use a custom value, you need to provide a custom value right here. And the funnel ID I can actually get from my funnel. So if I go back to click funnels and let's go ahead and find, let's do my opt-in funnel here. And the funnel ID I can actually get out of the uh, URL. So let me show you here really quick. I'm just going to resize the browser so you can see the address bar. So I'm going to click right here, this ID, this number that comes after funnels in the URL, that's my funnel ID. And so I can take that and add it here. And then when I select all funnel steps, it's going to show me all the funnel steps from this funnel, opt in and thank you. And you'll notice this 1846760 matches this 1984-6760. So I'm going to select my opt-in step and it's going to watch for new contacts on this opt-in funnel step. Now, if I haven't, if I don't have any contacts on that funnel step, it's not going to find anything right here. Uh, it looks like I already have one so I can view the contact and it's pulling the contact through. One thing I can do also is I can opt in on this page. So I'm going to enter a new email address. Now this is just capturing email. Um, and then what I can do is request another to uh, get that latest contact. So now there's the email that I just used. So that went through. And then I'm going to go to the next step. So I, I can I can have this go to anywhere I want. I can add a contact to Acuity to create a, co a contact there, um, to Gmail, set up a calendar appointment, whatever it is that I want to do. There's built-in apps from Zapier. There's a lot of different things that you can do here. I can add a Trello card for each new contact if I'm using Trello. So this is helpful to integrate with apps that ClickFunnels does not already integrate with. Now, uh, easiest example here is for a Google spreadsheet. So I'm going to type in sheets. There we go. Google sheets. 
and then I'm going to say create a spreadsheet row. Save and continue. Now, I'm not sure if this is the right account, so I'm going to connect an account. I'm gonna go ahead and use this account. I'm going to allow it. And now this account is connected, so I can rename this if I want, but it's it's got the email address right there for my test account. Save and continue. And then I need to select the spreadsheet that I'm gonna use. So I already have a Zapier sheet in that account. And then I need to select the worksheet. So you just go through and, and you uh, select all the options that you need. And then I can map the first name. These are all the columns that I have in that spreadsheet. Um, I have an email. So I'm gonna click this little plus sign here and insert a field. I'm gonna add the email address right there. I'm not collecting any other data on this spreadsheet and so I don't need to fill out anything else. So I'm gonna click continue, and I'm gonna click create and continue. So I pulled up the Google Drive account here, and here's my spreadsheet. So I'm gonna to go to this Zapier spreadsheet here, and you'll see that the contact I just created has been added to this spreadsheet. So every time a contact is added, they'll be added in a new row in the spreadsheet.